already uh, devlog one on uh, this Euclid project we're working on. A lot's happened. I'm just gonna kind of keep keeping you guys up to date. A lot of research today. Um, big thing. Um, if you are doing something that's open sourced already, if you're trying to build off of open source tooling, read the documentation of that open source tooling. It is holy, holy shit. I have moved a lot faster than I would have. So today was a lot of documentation reading, um, actually a lot of talking with family and friends. Um, because this, this is becoming a serious thing. I've got a logo, um, I've got a business plan um, and I'm, I'm trying to find the actual the feasibility of this. I did some market research a little bit more than I did yesterday um, and again some coding, a little bit of development, mainly again containerization, configuration, uh, figuring out the orchestration, managing through all of that. Um, but yeah, no, we're moving well. I'm building the container for the first time today. Um, kind of just did a lot of exploration. Um, I've, I'm finding problems um, that I don't have solutions to yet, but that's kind of how this goes, right? Uh, that's all we're doing right here is problem solving, problem solving, find a problem, a solution, and then in the code, finding how the hell this is all going to connect, right? Um, so I'm, I'm really thinking this might need to scale out a lot more than initially planned. Not a big deal. Um, costs should still be pretty low in the long term. Um, but one thing I'm running into that um, I don't think it's talked about a lot is, you know, there's all these billion dollar unicorns, um, at least in theory. And that's that's not feasible for a lot of people, including myself, right? So this needs to somewhat turn a profit at some point in the near future. And my near future, I mean, you know, I've got a few years to figure this out, but I can't kind of just keep relying on seed capital. Um, number one, I'm not planning on asking for any. Um, this is something I should be able to kind of maintain and run um, without that. Um, if it ever gets to that point, man, I'll start considering it, but I, I don't see it there yet. Um, <clears throat> but I, I think you kind of have to draw a line here between uh, what's a startup and what's a small business, right? Um, because small businesses need very little capital, um, but they also can't scale like a startup can. Um, I'm trying to find kind of the mid ground there, right? Um, so I don't want to create a service that I create for free for 10 years and then eventually try to find profitability later. Um, I want something that is going to provide capital um, in the in the midterm, right? So trying to find a way around that and that's just, it changes the business model a good bit, right? Because I'm not trying to get as many users as possible. I'm not trying to uh, attract seed funding. Um, so it gives me, A, some more time to kind of scale this up, build it out, see what I like, see what I don't, work with a smaller group of users, um, and figure everything else out as I go through iterations. Um, I, don't, I don't know if this is the right model, but it's um, kind of what I'm choosing right now. So um, I had a lot of people I was watching on YouTube say you shouldn't write a business plan um, it's a waste of time. Again, I, I really think it depends on the use case here. So, um, I'm trying to, you know, whole in-house this entire project. Um, and I think having a business plan kind of having a mindset to me is, is beneficial. Have it written down somewhere kind of helps me internalize or kind of share my internal thoughts with either myself later down the line or with other people who I'm talking about the project with or things like that. So to figure out what works best for you. But I, th I do think a really big thing here is, um, of course, the code is kind of the product here. Develop that, maintain that, build that out first. Um, but also try to understand your personal path to profit profitability and how you want to do that, right? I'm not trying to build a billion dollar company. I'm trying to build a sustainable project. So if you're in the same boat, thinking the same thing, try to find what model you think makes sense to you. But uh, that's it for DevLog1. Thanks for tuning in, guys.